Hello, my name is Srim Pshini. In this video, I'm representing the team who has won the second place on the Traffic Jam Predicting People's Movement into Nairobi Challenge on the Zindi platform. I currently work as a big data engineer for a consulting firm in Paris. I don't have any particular experience with machine learning and artificial intelligence. Uh, actually, I didn't take any classes on those subjects when I was in engineering school, neither I do have any experience in those fields. However, I do believe that machine learning and artificial intelligence are capable of changing our lives and our future, therefore I grew a great interest in them. And all I know comes from watching online tutorials and taking online classes in my spare time. Uh, actually, I heard about Zindi from a friend of mine who has learned about it from a friend of his and this is my very first competition on the Zindi platform and coming in the second place actually is quite flattering to me. So, in order to give you an idea about this challenge, uh, contestants were presented with data provided by MobiTicket and Uber regarding bus trips history and we were supposed to use this data to predict the number of passengers who will take the bus to go to uh, Nairobi from different locations around Kenya. And uh, to solve this problem, I partnered with a friend of mine and we uh, followed two different approaches. For the first approach, we took the features as they were and we performed, uh, performed uh, different feature engineering uh, tricks and techniques on them. For example, we calculated their mean, their minimum, their maximum and different statistical measures uh, by the day, the day of the week, the day of the year, the year itself, the location, the distance, etc. And uh, we used those features and their combinations uh, with uh, common machine learning algorithms. For the second approach, uh, we used what we call an auto encoder. And uh, what we did was that we took the uh, engineered features and uh, we performed a min-max scalar on them. And that was supposed to find a correlation between different features to give better results. However, due to the size of the, the, the data set, we didn't get the results that we expected. Therefore, we went with the uh, first approach. So uh, we, do, we, we used the engineered features with uh, random forest XJ boosts. Uh, we, uh, we used also neural nets. Uh, we used those with uh, a group K fold strategy and uh, we chose the hyperparameters uh, intuitively uh, and that's all I have for you. Uh, I want to thank Nandi for their commitment and see you guys soon.